Hi, I'm Tarani Pennerman, founder of the best-selling naturally curly hair care brand Curly Belt and host of The Tarani Show, a show where we talk about hair, a woman's crowning glory. I'm so happy that you've allowed us to be a part of your hair care journey, and I hope that you enjoy the show. Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Taranique Show. I am so happy that you guys have decided to join us for yet another episode. Please like, share, subscribe. We are The Taranique Show on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Apple, and Spotify podcasts everywhere, The Taranique Show. In this episode, we are going to discuss the importance of testing your hair dyes or doing a patch test before you use permanent color or semi-permanent color. You know, during different seasons, we like to switch it up. During the fall, it's more like an urban, an auburn, sorry, not urban, an auburn color or highlights or more like neutrals and brown colors or shades of blonde. Uh, or even red. So red is all red color is also a popular hair color in the fall. In the summer, you know, not so much, but we tend to like to switch up our hair color. It makes us feel different. You know, it, it just when you change your hair, it feels like you're about to change your life. If you cut your hair, if you dye your hair, if you're wearing you know, braids or a different style or a wig or whatever. It just feels like you're about to change your life, right? So I just want to caution you, if you are planning to do hair color at home, permanent or semi-permanent, to please do a patch test before you apply any color to your hair. We have seen online where, you know, people have done hair color and their eyes become swollen or they have to be hospitalized or they can't breathe properly. And that's because they had a severe allergic reaction to the chemicals that are in the hair dyes. So I would urge you to do a patch test and what that looks like is on the box of whatever color that you are gonna use, it will give you the instructions of how to do a patch test but mainly what it looks like is you would take a bit of the color and you would put it, you know, on the inside of your elbow, like somewhere here, or some instructions say that you put it even behind your ear, like on your, your neck, and you would wait until the hair dye dries. Once the hair dye has dried, you'd kind of, you know, look to see on your skin if you have any breakouts or if you have a reaction, or how do you feel? How does your body feel? Do you feel unwell? Do you feel nauseated? Do you feel tired or you know sleepy? Has there been any changes in your body? And this will tell you it, whether or not you are allergic to that particular hair dye and not to use it. So if you feel unwell when after the patch test, after the hair color has dried, do not use that color. I also caution you, if you're a person that has used, you know, this particular brand or this particular hair color for a long time, sometimes, you know, chemicals, brands can change their formulas. So I would also encourage you if you're going to reapply hair color that you haven't used in a long time, like maybe if you were a teenager and you said, oh, I used to use such and such hair dye in my hair and I was fine. I don't have to do a patch test. You know, your body has changed. You've gotten, you know, older and more, probably more sensitive to certain chemicals and you don't know. So I would encourage you, if you haven't used a particular hair color in the past, say six months or whatnot, it's been longer than a year, definitely anything over two years, you want to do a patch test because there can be severe consequences or severe reactions to using hair color and it causes you to break out or you may even have to be hospitalized in some cases. So I hope that this information was helpful to you if you are going to use permanent color or semi-permanent color. 
please, you know, do a potch test before you apply the color to your hair. Also, a potch test really gives you an idea of the true color of that product because we can see on the box the product looks this color, but then when we put it, you know, on our hair or on our skin, we see that it's not really the color that we want. So a patch test also helps with, you know, identifying if this is the right color for you. So if this information was helpful to you, please like, share, subscribe. We are The Turning Show on Instagram, YouTube, Apple and Spotify podcasts, also Facebook and TikTok everywhere. The Turning Show. Have a great day.